Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? So, we are back with FED. For those of you who have been tuning in and seeing all these videos of parks and so forth, uh, but you were here for the FED content, I just wanted to let you know I have not forgotten about you. And I put together this first video in a, a sort of mini series of loops. Uh, I got a request for a the loop pack. Unfortunately, I did not have to, time to do that before my vacation. So, we're just going to start with the BM loop. And you'll see here that I basically used the uh, Rogaroo drop that I did previously just to get this started. Uh, loops are pretty easy to do in uh, FVD. That's one of the simplest elements. So we're just going to skip down here to the four section where it starts up here and you see it goes down the drop. Uh, we did that in the last FVD element series where we did the Rogaroo drop. So coming into the bottom of this loop, let me just skip back real fast and you'll see that we were going about 62 miles an hour. So a loop is fairly simple. I, uh, as I've been saying, I've been using lower forces most of the time these days because I think it results in a more realistic uh, experience when you actually import this ride into No Limits 2. So you'll see we're about 3.095 going into this loop. And as we go through it, I think it rides pretty well. I did this fairly quickly, and there's a little bit of a weird twist there. Uh, that's just because of the track I was using uh, coming out of the geometric section into the forest. It's resulting in some really odd uh, things going on in the track. I'm not 100% certain why it's doing that. I'm not sure if it's a limitation of the program or if it's a limitation of the person who's using the program, which would be me. Oh, they're calling me. Uh, so... Uh, but I thought for this purpose, you'll, you, I'll upload this track, you can take a look at it, and the basics of a loop are pretty simple. Uh, basically, all I did was, we were at about 3, I sort of brought that down to about 2.4 or so going into the loop. That may not be 100% accurate for a B&M, but uh, I was really going for a shape here, and I was really going for a more slow loop than something you would experience that was extremely forceful. So if you watch the acceleration over here, you'll see we go from 3 down to a about just about zero and then it picks back up to 2.7 at the bottom so that was accomplished very simply with a quartic function that dips down to zero roughly in the middle and you see it's roughly spread out evenly around this uh, I like the shape of this loop it's more in line with the big loops that B&M does on some of their rides which I absolutely love I understand not everyone likes them but say for example the loop on Dominator I absolutely love that loop it is huge and it takes so long to go through it. It just seems like you're up there forever. So that's what I was trying to recreate here. Uh, in future series or future parts of this mini series, I'll do an arrow loop uh, by request and also a Schwarzkopf loop, which I'm expecting that to actually be a little bit more difficult because those loops are a little bit odd shaped. I think probably because they're smaller, but that's going to take a little time for me to do. So this one's not 100% perfect uh, just because of the geometric section issue that I was talking about. You can see it kind of wobbles just a little bit here. But for all intents and purposes, this is how you do a loop. You just sort of get the positive Gs going up into it. And where you decide to end them really depends on the kind of shape you're going, which we'll see as we move forward in this mini series. Uh, I ended mine just a little bit early because I wanted this long sort of break where it goes down to zero Gs and then back up to uh, roughly 2.7 or so. So I like the shape of this overall. I hope this helps you out. Uh, stay tuned for the two upcoming loops as well as the other FVD things that uh, people have requested. Uh, but otherwise, I will talk to you next time. Take care and enjoy the ride.